This video is all about how to find a job in London, even if you're an international. I lived there for six years almost, so I know a little something something about finding work there, how to stay there, and what it takes to process visas. Stick around and I'll tell you more. What's up guys, it's Vanessa, back with another episode at Wander Onwards. So today we are talking about a highly requested topic, which is how to find a job in London. So if you know anything about me, you'll know that I currently live in Germany, but I actually lived in London for almost six years. I did my master's there, and then I started to work for different technology companies as a project manager and a product manager. In this video, we're gonna be talking about some very confusing steps when it comes to finding a job in London, whether you're a local um, person or an international. The things we're gonna be covering in this video are how to find a job online, like what websites you need to use, how do you frame your CV in a way that's interesting and stands out in the pool of candidates, and then of course, negotiations and sponsorship. Now, if you want more in-depth, detailed answers and my personal recommendations, definitely check out my Move Abroad Masterclass, which I have available for Americans and then internationals. In this six-week course, you're going to learn the end-to-end -end Move Abroad process with my specific and targeted recommendations. This video is gonna be a little bit more general so you can get the basic idea of what's expected of you and launch your own Move Abroad process wherever you are in the world. So let's get started. If you're an international trying to work in London or the United Kingdom, there's gonna be quite a few hoops that you're going to need to jump through. That's because you need sponsorship. So you either need to be on a work visa yourself or there are some graduate programs and schemes that will actually translate your student visa into a work visa for a brief amount of time. Check out the graduate visa in the United Kingdom. Students on a graduate route will be able to work or look for work after their studies for a maximum period of two years. So once you're done doing your degree, you're gonna be able to stay and look for a proper job instead of being kicked out of the country immediately. <laughs> That was kind of my situation actually. I had seven months to find a job. So I did a bunch of internships trying to get experience. So with sponsorship in mind, you need to make sure that one, whatever company you're investing your time and resources in is actually able to sponsor you once your two years are done. And two, you wanna make sure that you actually enjoy that industry and what you're doing and that you make enough money doing it. Sometimes there are financial requirements. Uh, when I lived in London, there were for a work visa. So if you're not making enough money, you won't qualify for some of the parameters necessary. Also, when you have a work visa, you're basically owned by that company until another company accepts the responsibility of taking you on and sponsoring your work permit. This company will also need to prove that you are more qualified for whatever role you're interviewing for than a local person that already has that right to work there. But there are different ways to get around that and we'll talk briefly about that towards the end of the video. So let's get into the nitty gritty of how do we find jobs in London? Well, in my opinion, three major websites host the majority of the traffic and then you can find specialty websites based off of your industry or points of interest. First, we have Glassdoor. Now, Glassdoor is great to start your job search on because it's gonna give you an idea of what the salary ranges are and what people think about that company. Because there's a requirement about how much money you need to make for work visas typically, you need to make sure that whatever company you're considering can pay you that correct amount of money, otherwise you're gonna run into some trouble. Also, you're gonna to wanna to look at what the ratings are for that company to make sure that people like the CEO or HR is actually doing a great job and it's a place that you'll wanna stay for long-term. The second website I would recommend is indeed.com. Now, Indeed is actually really great for English-speaking jobs when you're not in an English-speaking environment because you can search based off of language. In Germany, I was searching for product management jobs in English and I was given thousands of results, sometimes not always the most relevant, but it gave me a great place to start and I was able to pinpoint where the English speaking jobs were because my Deutsch is not so good. The third website is my personal favorite, which is LinkedIn. I like LinkedIn because one, I can curate a profile to draw people in, 
Two, I can actually connect with people and follow other product managers at companies that I potentially want to work for. And three, you can set up alerts so you're notified weekly, daily, whatever, about jobs that fit your skill set, interest, and industry. If you want to know more details about how I tackle this job search online, head over to my Move Abroad Masterclass where I save all the best details for my clients. Of course, if you are enjoying this video, give it a thumbs up so I know to make more videos on this type of topic in the future. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can stick around for more wealth and wanderlust content I post every week. Next, let's talk about the CV. List your most relevant work experience that has happened most recently. Start first with your title, then underneath it, the company name, and on the right hand side, include the location and for how many years you've been there. Underneath that, you're going to include four to six bullets of what you actually did there. And be sure you're using keywords from the job posting vacancy so that the automatic CV filtering technology can pick up those keywords. Also, it demonstrates that you're looking into the specifics of this job and proves that you can prioritize the type of important information that's relevant to the circumstance. Let's talk about your network. So your network is going to be your best asset when looking for a job in the United Kingdom or specifically London, because it's all about who you know. When I was looking for a job, I was going to at least one tech event every single week and I was adding loads of people that worked in my industry doing my job for companies I was interested in. This is a great idea because you're able to follow those people's career as they gain momentum. They sometimes post about job openings on their team or maybe someone is looking for something in that industry. And overall, it starts to build a community in your specialized industry that you can rely on in the future. You should probably expect to be in this process anywhere from two to three months, because at the very least, the visa process takes at least six weeks to handle and your company should be able to help you with that. Furthermore, these interview loops can truly take so long. I don't really understand why. In an interview loop, you typically start with the recruiter who does a screening. Then you meet with the hiring manager. Then you move on to an additional two to three rounds where you potentially meet the team, management, or anyone else that needs to have an opinion on who you are and what you're able to do. If you're in finance, the boroughs that you're gonna to wanna to mingle in and create a presence in are Canary Wharf and Bank. If you're in technology or e-commerce, you're going to wanna to focus on Angel, Islington and Highbury, Brixton and Shoreditch. Thanks so much for watching this video and I hope you really enjoyed it. Please hit that subscribe button and stick around for more Wealth and Wanderlust content. I post every week and I'm always here to help. So please leave comments down below or check me out on Instagram where you can DM me directly. Have a good one.